Hello, I'm your Daily Tech with another RiffCat tutorial. This video is a walkthrough on how to install RiffCat for the Gear VR on your Samsung phone using Sideload VR. For this demo, I'll be using a Galaxy 6 Edge Plus using OS version 6.0.1. So the first thing you're going to have to do is make sure you have the Oculus software installed on your phone. To do this, you just need to plug your phone into the Gear VR and then follow the prompts and it'll walk you through it. Once you've done that, make sure you also have your account created through the Oculus Store. Second thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to install Sideload VR. So I'm going to walk you through that right now. So if you go to the Play Store and just search Sideload VR for Gear, for Gear VR, tap the Install button and Accept. We'll let that finish installing. Great. The next thing you can do is you can open up Sideload VR. And I've previously installed this on my phone in the past, so it might already have my OSIG, but uh, I'll show you how to create that or find that rather. Um, anyways. So, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to tap the button on the top left to bring down the menu and then click on Signature Setup. This will give you a full walkthrough on how to get this file done. Now this file is important because this is how it builds the APKs to install on your phone. Unfortunately it's not going to be like a regular Play Store app so this process does have to get done just for the first time that you install this. Step 1, it automatically copies your device ID to the clipboard. That's done. Step 2, signature file. For this one you have to click on the link and it's going to bring you to the Oculus Store. So all you do is you make sure you log into your account here. It might automatically log me in. And then since you've already copied that file to your clipboard automatically, just tap and hold in that box, click on paste, and then click on download file. I've already downloaded this and set up, so I'm not going to do it again. But once that's downloaded, you just have to go back to your sideload VR. And then we're going to go back to signature setup. Now step three, you're going to have to upload your signature file. Again, click on the link. In here, enter in your device ID one more time. So just tap and hold and then click on paste and then click on choose file. And actually this will give you a really good walkthrough on how to do it. All the uh, steps are kind of laid out in plain English here so it should be pretty straightforward to follow. Once you've uploaded that, return to the, gear, to the uh, side load VR. Now all you have to do is click on verify signature and you're finished. Once that verifies you're going to be able to install any side load VR app from here on in. Now that side loads installed and ready to go what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back into now if it doesn't come to the gallery screen right away you're going to want to just click on browse market once you're here it's pretty clear what the next step is tap vridge for gear vr and once you're in here you're going to want to hit on download this top right button and now this is going to build the APK for you. Now it could take quite some time, but I'm just going to fast forward this because we don't really need to sit here and watch it happen. So once that's downloaded and built, um, you're going to get to this screen automatically. Now it's going to say install blocked. Um, that's not a big deal. What you can do is just tap on the settings button. It's going to bring you into your settings here. All you have to do is go to in, uh, unknown sources. Tap this once and it's going to give you a, a little message saying that this is just going to be for one installation only and just hit OK, just making sure that button is checked there where it says allow this installation only. Hit OK and then click on install. Once the app's installed, all you need to do is click on done and you're finished. Go back to the home screen and you want to go find it in your apps. It should be right near the end. Freshly installed apps. Now just put it on your main screen. And there you have it. Virage for the Gear VR is now installed and ready to go. 
all you have to do now is click on the app and all you have to do from here is just plug it into your Gear VR. Let's give that a shot. And there we go. Once you start the RiftCat app, then you should uh, see it connect. And search for your phone. Message should change to ready. Please start game with RiftCat desktop app. And from here, just use it as you normally would by clicking on play Steam VR games, play Oculus Rift games, or play RiftCat games. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If it did, please click like and subscribe for more videos to come in the future. Thank you.